because you live in a posh house. You think you're better than me. Well, I'm telling you now, you're scum. All the lot of you. Come on, darling, let's go and find Bahushka. Who is it, Daddy? Bloody nutter. Like it, Mommy. Jesus, I've had enough of this. Where are you going? To talk to her. That's exactly what she wants. Why don't you just ring the police and let them handle it? I can't do Bahushka! that. Bahushka! She'll be right back to square one. I'll, I'll ring Liz, I'll get her over here. What do you think's going to pay for that window? Well, what the bloody hell are you? Olivia! Are you Paul's brother? Not Liz with me, ma'am. No, he doesn't freaking like me! He doesn't live with no... Shit! What the hell's he doing? I'm going to sell that dinner! Get off! I'm warning you! I'm warning you! Leave her alone! I didn't say anything! It was only for TV! Oh, what I'm do you really think you're doing? The my again. Yeah, well, you should have phoned Liz. She's your I probation don't officer now. Liz. You've got to tell them to let me see you again. Tracy, it was me that asked for you to see somebody else. Now, will you let go of me? No! Why? What have I done wrong? Nothing. I've told you before. If you let me see you again, I won't say out. About what? Kieran, get back in the house. About what we did. I don't know what you're talking about. You liar. You bloody liar! Hey, liar. stop that! It's all right, I'm handling it. Don't tell me you live with that old bag. Shut up, you stupid little slap! All right, that's enough! <laughs> now look what you've done. This must have been ferreting through my bag. Found some of my address on it, I don't know. Well, do you remember leaving her alone with your stuff? No. I must have done. I'm not going to give her my address, am I? What got me is how I get the bollocking when she's the one laying into me. I wasn't bollocking you. I was trying to protect you. No, well, do us a favour. Don't bother next time. OK, let's leave it. What's going to happen to her? Public order offence. Maybe criminal damage. That's why I didn't want to ring police. Well, she can't go around breaking people's windows. Anyway, it's not my worry. They'll get in contact with Liz. She can deal with it. How come she didn't know about me and Mum? Because I don't talk to offenders about my personal life, that's why. And in future, don't get involved in my work, OK? No, you mean in case there's something I shouldn't? Paul? Yeah? It's the police who want to speak to you. It's regarding Tracy Ellis. We'd like you to come to the station. Are they going to charge you? Why do I get the feeling you'd love it if I said yes? And why do you look at me like you hate me? What is the matter with you? I've just had a really difficult time. I've been answering questions for five and a half hours. And I don't want to talk about it anymore. Well, you're going to have to because I want some answers. You know, for a counsellor and a therapist, you know sod all about people. <sighs> yeah, and for someone who works with young people, you know sod all about my son. Chicken? No, thanks. Sausage? No, thank you. Are you all right? Yeah, excuse me. Is it something I said? No, it, it was the song. Memories? Yeah. Not nice? Too nice. That's a problem. For what it's worth, that's just an opinion. I think you must be a complete nutter. <laughs> You're very attractive. Well, he, he was my husband. And uh, he died of cancer last year. God, I'm sorry. He was diagnosed on July the 5th, and he died on September the 16th. It was such a shock. Do you want to go somewhere and talk? I'm sorry, Paul. Why didn't you talk to me first? I gave you plenty of opportunity to explain what happened that night. Why did you lie to me? Hiya. 
chance to see your rush back. I had supervision with Gavin. You had supervision the other night. How many supervisions do you need? A lot right now, as a matter of fact. And I need some support. I've been suspended. Oh, that's nice. See, they must think you've done something wrong. No, it's procedure, that's all. Pending investigation. Well, I thought it was her word against yours. Or is there something else I don't know about? Paul? I told you, she was waiting for me after the council meeting. Yeah? Somebody saw us. What, and they've suspended you for that? Well, they have to. She's saying stupid things. Our mother's a registered schizophrenic in and out of mental hospitals. Right, so how long is this investigation going to last? No idea. Never been investigated before. Right, fine. Well, has anybody started making any supper? Well, look, do you fancy eating out because I'm shattered and I don't feel like cooking? Or we could grab something light and go to the pictures. Might take your mind off it. Or you could just sit there in that chair and mope all night. The choice is yours. I don't even know what's on. I thought Spacey was great. Then he always is, isn't it? You just get inside his head, do you know what I mean? I could understand him. Whereas that woman was... Oh, I thought she was much better than him. You knew exactly where she was coming from. Well, you would, wouldn't you, being a woman? <laughs> no, it's not that. You're bound to take her side. It's common sense. No, I don't take sides on my job, so why should I... I don't take sides. You're always on about some bloke whose brains in his trousers. <sighs> I think I must have said that once in eight years. And actually, in that case, the man's brains were in his trousers. But I'm glad to say he realised he was causing his wife some distress and he did something about it. Meaning? <sighs> Nothing. We should talk about this. I don't want to talk tonight. I'll say something I'll regret. We'll talk tomorrow. Yeah, when it's right for you, Mrs. Therapist. <sighs> Listen, I know exactly what you're doing. Oh, do you? Yes, I do. Just because things aren't going well at work, you're trying to insinuate that I'm crap at my job because that makes you feel better. Or well, tough, because I'm not crap. As a matter of fact, I'm good. A damn sight better than most. Did you pick a fight so you wouldn't have to make love to me? Why do you have to analyse everything? I'm going to sleep. We need to have a family meeting tonight. Me as well? No, not you, darling. Right, I'm off to work. You have a good day, sweetheart. I'll see you when I get home. Bye, Mother.